Hey, how many days ago was February 9th? It was 19 days ago. Hmm. What's going on, YouTube? I'm Sheree. I'm Corey. And we have had HomePods for 19 days. Yes, HomePods plural because we are the proud owners of three. <laughs> and people keep asking us, do we regret buying it? Do we like it? Do we hate it? Does it suck? They heard it sucks. Maybe it sucks. Are we taking it back? Are we keeping it? Are we keeping all three? But it came out so rushed. It was such a rushed product. How did you like it? I don't know. I lost track of how many questions, but they keep asking us a lot. And I think the answers are yes, yes, no, yes, yes, yes. no, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> but the gist is that we love them. We have overall had a really good experience with the HomePods thus far. <laughs> of course, as a disclaimer, give you a little bit of background. We don't have, we have a Google Home Mini. Yeah. No Alexa, no Sonos, mm -hmm. no other. No Google Home Max, no. No other any high end. High quality. Yeah, smart speaker. Speakers? Not smarter, not smart speaker True. in the house. <laughs> the only thing we did have was um, an old shelf unit. One of those, those stereo shelf units used to be like a thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it fits in perfectly in the tech couple ecosystem. Yes, this was definitely a welcome upgrade or these were a welcome upgrade into our home. We have had obviously 19 days to play with it, get to see what we like, what we don't like, what we can't wait for them to update and improve. And we figured that we'd bring you guys a little update slash review slash opinion. Yeah. Tips, tricks. There's a lot of backslashes and forward slashes. But you know, you see the title, You. this is what you're getting. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive in. So let's start with the obvious. The HomePod sounds amazing. Yeah, this thing sounds freaking phenomenal. Now I know technically AirPlay 2 isn't out yet, but we have been able to sync up our music around the house. AirPlay 1 and iTunes still allows you to AirPlay to multiple devices, devices. simultaneously. It's something we've been using for years to stream music to televisions via the Apple TV. Mm -hmm. So the same works for HomePod. And actually we stream to computer, two, two, three TVs, three Air, three AirPods, three HomePods. Yeah. yeah, we stream around our house to kind of create like a nice conglomerate of music. Now we're not, audio files and I know that some audio files have had certain things to say about it actually being stereo sound and how's it sound and like a completely an echoic room and all that jazz. We're we're regular human beings and consumers for whom this product was developed and it sounds amazing. Whether you want, you know, some good deep bass in like the rap that Corey listens to or if you want to hear like the depth of, you know, like the Foo Fighters and that other Charisse like rock that to. I listen to. It has kind of handled all of it. You get the highs, you get the mids, you get the lows. It sounds great. Now, one thing that we did notice about the sound, and I think Corey actually noticed it, we have a few varying heights um, for the products around the house. And one of our home pods is actually up higher, like closer to ear level. When standing anyway. Yeah, when standing. And it sounded really good, but we then transitioned it to probably about waist level when standing, and it sounds uh -huh. phenomenal now. Uh, for, for no, yeah, I'm using my phenet, phenom, phenomenal. Phen it sounds good. It sounds phenomenal. Just in case people don't think I know how to pronounce phenomenal. I was starting to think you didn't know how to pronounce phenomenal. Make me re I was just, my life choices. It, was just, it just sounds really good. And it even does. when you look at how small it is. Yeah, for such a tiny device, it puts out a lot Great sound. of sound. Yes. Without distortion, even at max volume. Yeah, so it, it sounds great. Yeah. And to address the skeptics that think that you can't use third party. Spotify or yeah. Google Music. Pretty much anything that you can AirPlay from, you can AirPlay that to, to the HomePod. A HomePod. Whether that's AirPlaying content from your Apple TV, mm -hmm. whether it's YouTube on your phone, whether it's Spotify on your iPad or... A conference call from work on your computer. I mean, if you can AirPlay the content, 
it can play on your home pod yes. granted you won't necessarily have the full like voice controls over pause and play the next track and previous track yeah. yeah you may not have all of those controls but you can still control those like you normally would and still hear them from the home pod which i know it's not an ideal circumstance but it's doable yeah but we're apple music users we've been on apple music since before apple music when it was just beats music yeah so oh man we have been on it for a long time for a long time you know we've been long time itunes apple users in general so we have a ton of purchased content in itunes and we pay for apple music so it's not really problematic for us in fact this product was kind of made with people like us mm -hmm. in mind so of course it sounds great oh it does but it's not just a speaker and it's not it's a smart speaker so of course i have nothing with you for that <laughs> of course you expect it to actually be smart and one of the biggest criticisms of the home pod has been that siri she ain't so bright <laughs> yeah there there there's some complaints in saying what siri can and cannot do compared to other smart speakers mm -hmm. but even if you go to apple's website and you scroll down it's all about music and about music and about sound quality and about how good it sounds and then you get the siri controlling your music and playing music for you and being your personal DJ. And then you get to the personal assistant. So clearly it's being advertised as a speaker that sounds amazing, that has some brains to it. So as you can see from Apple's own marketing materials, Siri is not the focal point of this particular It's at the very smart bottom. It's literally the last thing. It's basically a footnote. Like if you could say like it's a smart, speaker like just imagine that in, in font and in written in print it's a smart speaker <laughs> and that's not to say that it's completely just dumb but apple never intended for siri to be your best friend or be trivial pursuit it's a smart assistant exactly so the things we use siri for i feel like she does a great job because i don't really ask her for too much there are of course things that i wish it could do but for the most part turn off my lights fix me a sandwich set a calendar event siri fixes you sandwich oh that's you i'm sorry <laughs> Shreece, i'm about to say Shreece doesn't fix me sandwiches but then that looks just as bad <laughs> i don't command my wife to do anything guys i really don't but <laughs> especially not after this <laughs> <laughs> I literally probably use the most to play music or to say things like, hey, turn off all the lights. All set. And within a snap, even though you can't tell that all the lights are on, because we still got two studio lights here. There's, yeah. there's a it? Philips Hue Go back I'm there. I'm not good at that. I, I'm not. I, you see, I've been there there it is. over there uh -huh. it's behind his head ish. It's, so you can oh, be like, hey, set the color of the Hue Go to red. Got it. Look at that. Hey, Set the color of the hue go to green. That's done. But it's a lot faster in my mind than using Siri on the phone. It is. I actually, I'm not 100% sure why, but the, the HomePod is lightning, way faster lightning at commanding HomeKit accessories than my phone or iPad or watch. And of course, voice recognition on the HomePod is amazing. Full volume even with the TV on, even with other people talking. Well, disclaimer, with other people talking, you do have to say it a little bit louder, but if there's nothing but like ambient noise or music in the HomePod, you can speak at pretty much a regular voice and HomePod picks you up. And the, the one of the things I do like is that they use spatial awareness to detect what is the best source for yes. listening. Yes, like which one should be responding to you at that time. Also to answer another question, what happens if there are multiple devices that have Siri support on them? Apparently, everything connects to each other via Bluetooth really quickly to kind mm -hmm. of identify themselves as Siri-enabled devices. Yeah. And the HomePod takes over from there and disables Siri on everything else. Hey Siri, what's going to be the weather today? It's currently cloudy and 42 degrees in Greensboro. Expect rain and cloudy skies starting in the morning. Yeah, so you may see just an instantaneous response on your phone or something when you start to say that, th that phrase, <laughs> the triggering phrase. And you'll see it pop up real quick and then the HomePod will take over. It, 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 it kind of comes in and like shows its weight and says, nah, I got this. But for the person who's like wondering, well, what if I want it to actually come from my phone? 
Well, then you can raise your phone and immediately start talking and that gives indication that this is the device that you wanted to use. And then of course it will circumvent the HomePod and cut the HomePod off. One minor complaint, speaking of voice recognition, is I wish that it actually had voice distinguishing recognition. Well, they got face ID, they have touch ID, what about voice ID? Exactly. I wish that it knew that we were talking to it or that Corey was versus me versus our toddler. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't mind me versus you so much, although I could see the, the benefits of that. Yeah. It's more so our three-year-old, first thing he does when he comes home from daycare is he runs up to any home pot he can find and he says, hey, sir, set natural. Which, natural. as Come you can up. see, it turns the lights to this nice, natural light white color and then he'll go hey turn off the lights in the dining room which with natural also. they're not on but he turns them off if they are on or he'll he heard this from me once and then never stopped saying it hey play fallout boy and i'm like mm -hmm. Please no, don't. No Fallout Boy. Please right don't now. do that. No Fallout Boy. I don't want to hear Fallout Boy right now. So, yeah, it would be nice if that was added later. And I imagine that is just a software feature. So, mm -hmm. possibly, you know, if my phone won't unlock from somebody else's face and Siri on my phone knows my voice versus his voice. So, if one of us says it, if I say it, it doesn't trigger his phone. Nope. I feel like that technology should relatively. I'm not an engineer, so I really, I can't say. I imagine it can't be too It can't be that hard. Over, so we'll just have to wait and see. Siri also will give you some other basic information. If you're getting ready in the morning, which is when I typically ask it, you know, you can say things like, hey, what's the weather outside? Mm -hmm. Or what's it going to be like today? Or yeah, or what's the weather in any location? Absolutely. So she does very well with weather which also news and news ask for the latest news yeah you can ask her how tall somebody is i know that she won't generally do like detailed web searches which i got is a, a little... question hey how tall is logan paul huh? i can't get the answer to that on homepod hey how tall is michael jordan michael jordan is six feet six inches tall so why does she discriminate how does she know how tall some people are because she's not part of the low gang <laughs> I need to cop her some Maverick merch. Um, <laughs> Siri does have a good kind of foundational knowledge base, if you will. There definitely are some things that she performs. And like I said, this is Siri light. So there are some things that she straight up is not about to do for you. She will handle um, personal requests uh -huh. is what they're being called. So if you want her to send a text message. Hey, so text my wife. I love you. Your message to Sharice says, I love you. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. Hey, S remind me to tell my wife to fix me a sandwich when I get home. I wish I could, but Notes hasn't set that up with me yet. Well, they said yet. It did say yet. It did so say it yet. sounds like location-based uh -huh. reminders are coming we're learning as we're recording we are we didn't i didn't know that i never tried that one before but i, I do know if i say hey add grapes to my shopping list i think it's called a shopping list might be called okay a list. i added grapes to the shopping list there you go hey set a timer for 10 seconds counting down from 10 seconds oh this is exciting maybe i should have said five how long is 10 seconds obviously it's 10 now. seconds but now which <laughs> So that's the cute noise that the HomePod <laughs> makes when you get an alarm goes off or a timer goes off. And like I said, you can only set one timer at a time. Hey time Siri, stop. And that's all you gotta do to stop it. So, yeah, it does a decent amount of things. It does. Now, that sound is not further customizable. So hopefully you like that sound because when it comes to um, alarms. alarms, those types of notifications, alerts, that's that's it. That's it. <laughs> they have kind of locked it down. I would like to see in a future update maybe some expansion of that as well. Obviously on other iOS devices, you can customize alert sounds. So maybe, you know, just do that here too. <laughs> so that is kind of our updated take on the HomePod. Of course, the hardest thing about demoing the HomePod is its greatest feature. 
the way it sounds. Yeah, you really can't quite demo sound on this platform. Right, so I would recommend heading by your Best Buy or Apple store and hear it for yourself. And even then take it with a grain of salt because there's gonna be more ambient sound than you're traditionally used to. I mean, unless you live in a retail store. Or, or a warehouse. You might live in a warehouse, so I mean. Absolutely no judgment. No, I'm, if your house is that big, hey. That's not judgment, that's like. Hey. You'd live in rights. So. Yeah, but maybe a note, maybe, you know, split the warehouse so you have multiple floors. That that would be my only recommendation. Build some some walls? Yeah, that's about that's about you know, my just only critique. Live your life, but just saying. But enjoy that warehouse. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and check that out. Yeah, it definitely sounds phenomenal. And like we said, Siri could be a little smarter, but she gets the job done. Oh. 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 Yeah, because you know, something like a features or I features? guess it's really just features. Mm -hmm. Can be added with software. I don't know of any update that makes something sound better. No, and that's kind of the conversation that we've been having amongst ourselves and our other kind of fr friends in the tech community. Shout that, out to Technically T. Yeah, because we definitely were just having this conversation on his stream the other night. You can absolutely add software later to add features. And granted, no, it's not ideal. No one's saying that it is, but you can't add a software update later to add hardware features. Yeah, and just because I'm gonna do a little bit of a rant, Sonos has been out forever, and Alexa nor Google Home launch with multi-room support. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is a first-generation product. People look at it as, you know, it's a first generation, but it's later to market than its competitors. But even when its competitors first got to market, they weren't doing some of the things that they're doing now. So it has some room to grow, mm -hmm. sure, but for what it is for right now, it's impressive. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. And then we'll get features added on to make it even more worth it. I am just kind of curious of how they're gonna handle software updates. I know that it's thus far kind of been, fe not featured, but handled or managed through your phone. Uh -huh. So I guess, obviously the, the updates will come through there, but will it be an iOS? Will it get its own thing? Will it have like HomePod OS? Home OS. Home OS, oh that's cute. I so like that. We'll see, of course we'll have more videos when AirPlay 2 drops as well as multi-room support mm -hmm. and whatever they're yeah. calling the stereo setup. Absolutely. You'll see more of us about this product as more it comes develops? out to you talk like a, about. You sound like a news reporter. <laughs> we'll have more on the story as it develops. <laughs> so of course, that pretty lady. I'm Sharice. This guy is Corey. My handsome husband. Together we make the tech couple. I don't think we told you to subscribe, but do that and of course turn on notifications because we will have more content coming soon about this and other products and you don't want to miss it. Yeah. But we'll catch you guys soon. Yes, we will. <laughs> Bye. Later.